Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn an overview of the loop function in Battery 3. And don't forget, you could always get in contact with me with any questions, comments, or ideas, justin at wingsound.com. Okay, so Battery 3's got this really cool looping function in it, the loop tab right here. Just click on it to get to it. And when you're choosing a sample that you wanna loop, it's really cool because you can visually see the waveform so you can make very precise uh, editing loop points there. And you have some options to make the waveform bigger in this bottom right corner. Hit the plus over here, makes it bigger. Or you hit the plus over here and, and it stretches the waveform out, not physically or changing the sound, but it stretches it out so you can see it better and make more precise looping points. All right. So now to enable a loop, all you got to do is go to this little button right here, click on it, and there you go. Loop one is enabled. You do loop two, enabled. You have up until four options to do four different loop points. Then you can play the loop right here. And you have the loop mode. Now you have loop until key release and loop until end of envelope. So the loop until key release will basically you know, loop this sample until you release the key. Pretty self-explanatory. So now the count comes into effect here. Now the count is how many times it's going to loop. So if it's this double zero right here, it's basically infinite. So it'll loop infinite, infinitely until, uh, until I release the key. All right, and then if I bring it down to let's say seven and I'm going to hold down the key and it'll play seven, uh, six times and then stop looping. All right. Then you have another option, uh, loop until end of envelope, as I said before. Now what this will do will basically you hit the key once and it'll loop it as many times as you set the count to. So let's say I set it to, 10, I hit the key once, and it's going to loop 10 times and then stop. All right. And if it's set to infinite with the uh, loop until end of, end of envelope, it's basically going to do the same as loop until key released. Okay. So the other options you have here is the start slider fader, you know, where you want your loop to start, and you have the length to adjust. You know, how long you want to make the loop you also have another option for adjusting those values you can drag your cursor to the left and right corners to adjust the start and the end points and then let's say if you like the selection but you don't want to you know stretch that out but you want to move it to a different point of the loop just go over to where it says loop the one the name and just click and drag so you maintain that selection point. And then you also have tune. So you can tune down an octave or up an octave of that loop. So here's what the loop sounds like without any tuning adjustments. Now I'm going to do one octave below. One octave above. And then you got some semitones in between to work with. So obviously you hear the sound changing, you know, you go lower in the tune and it gets slower, higher, gets faster. So, you know, just be cautious of that because it could be out of, out of sync with your track. Then you have this X fade here. And basically what the X fade does is it mixes the end of the loop with the beginning of the loop to create a very smooth loop transitioning. So all the way down, it's just going to be, you know, regular. Now, if I move it all the way up, it's going to be more smooth. You know, it's less like that transient hit. You can hear the little difference there. So that's up to you, you know, and these numbers here is samples. You're adjusting the samples. So, you know, you could adjust that to, you know, how, how smoothly you want your loops to be. And then you also have this um, 
snap to zero button right here. And basically when that's enabled, the loop start and end points will snap to the nearest audio zero crossing, the place where audio amplitude is at zero. You can always get in touch with Justin at winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at winksound.com.